Hey guys, what's up? How's it going? This is Kazi. I'm here today with Wes. Wes, how you doing? Nice to meet you. Okay, so we are actually at VidCon and we just randomly asked this gentleman if he's a developer. It turns out he is. Yep. So I just want to ask him a couple of questions that I hope that will bring you value. So welcome. Yeah, Thank thanks. you for being on here. And uh, just tell us a little bit about like what kind of got you into development and what do you actually do? Well, in the Marines, in 2001 I was in the Marines. I was just at uh, networking, computers, stuff like that. Yep. And I enjoyed it, but I was injured in a motorcycle accident, so I used a wheelchair, full-time wheelchair user. Yep. And in the Marines, they gave me a GI Bill, and I went to college to further my computer networking career. Yep. And the college I picked didn't have a networking path. So they said, well, we have development or business. And I was like, uh, I guess we'll do development. So I when was this? What year? Uh, this was 2004, 2005. 2004, okay. Yeah. And they said, well, we have uh, development. I was like, oh, that's perfect. Yeah. So I uh, picked it up and I loved it ever since. That's yeah. beautiful. And are you, like, were you working for a company with development and what language were you using? I uh, started out working for Passport Health and we used uh, C Sharp and. Um, uh, BB, uh, BB, uh, BBA or whatever. Uh, Visual Basic. Yeah, but, yeah, old Visual Basic. I don't use that anymore. Oh, then my yeah. new company, we we use just C Sharp. We're just C Sharp, MVC Shop, MVC Shop, and that's all we do. Okay. Uh, Visual Studio. So. And that's yeah. currently what you're doing. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Awesome. So, but now, yeah, now I work for Nashville, Nashville, Tennessee Metro government. Yeah. Yeah. So if somebody wants to break into the industry, you know, like as of today, mm -hmm. and they want to get a job as a full-time developer, yeah. like how long should they, should they like what's the best path for them basically? Should they get a degree? Uh, how long should they wait before they apply? I, I went the college route, got a bachelor's degree, yep. and went from there. It's a lot easier to prove yourself if you have a bachelor's degree. So well, look, I have a degree, and then right. most companies that are hiring entry level, they respect the degree. They're like, yeah. okay, you got a degree, you know what she's talking about. But I do know that if you can specialize yourself in one particular thing, like you can specialize yourself in like iPhone applications. Yep. Like if you can prove, write some applications, prove yourself in that field, that's all you need. You don't need all the other stuff. If you can get to the point where you can write useful applications right. and just that, and you can prove yourself there, that's all you need to do. So yeah. it kind of depends on your, on your focus. If you're wanting to write app, iPhone applications for a company, that's all you have yeah. to do is be able to prove yourself in that yeah. field or this field. Or if you don't have a specific, then get a degree and use that as your, as your, as your proof. Yeah. Okay. And so instead of like people kind of doing something just super general, which is yeah. what people end up doing a yeah. lot of the times, they hope that piece of paper is going to get them a degree. Right. You say, hey, get actually something very specific. If you're going to get a yeah. degree, make it very specific. You know, because right. what I well, constantly... Go ahead. Yeah, it's different for every person. Some people want to do iPhone applications. That's what they want to do. They don't want to do Android. They don't want to do web development. They don't want to do... Uh, they don't want to do SQL. They don't want to do stuff in the background. They just want to do iPhone application, so they get very specific in that, yep. and they have to find a way to prove themselves that they're specific, that, that they're um, efficient in that field, yep. and then show that to an employer, and we'll look. I can bring this to you, wow. and then go from there, or you know, start up their own shop and somehow get their own customers, stuff like that. Okay, yeah. cool. Yeah. And are you planning to start up something like freelancing, or you've always been just interested uh, in doing full I, I like working for somebody who can tell me what to do. I, I can, I'm a developer, I'm not a designer, yeah. no problem. So yeah. I don't have the vision of what they want. So working with her and her YouTube channel, she's great because nice. she can tell me what she wants, and I'm like, I can do that. She wants it to look like this, I wants it to do that. You wanna click this button and go there. I can make it. Just you have to tell me what you want, and I can yeah. do it. So That's I, I like working in the back end. I don't like I don't like the stress of the constant fight for finding the next client and getting this product out the next day and that stuff. I just like to make stuff happen. That's make, a good make, point, actually. Make work have uh, easier for people in yeah. the long run without without being the go-to guy and everything's my my fault and and you know when they don't know how to use their system or something then. I did something wrong. You know? Yeah, it I, don't, adds, I don't like being that guy. Yeah, yeah. it just adds a, a lot of additional pressure. Yeah, I guess in yeah. that case. Okay, so this is pretty awesome. So guys, if you want to be, if you want to do full time, one of the things that Wes says is try to actually apply and do something very specific. Get a niche, 
that'll help you actually get a job faster, whether it's like, you know, going for iPhone applications or desktop applications with Python or data analysis or finances, but something specific is probably a little bit better. Um, guys, that's it, this is gonna wrap it up. Do you wanna add anything at the end? Uh, check out meanttobelindsayb.com. Yeah, meant that's to be, yeah, meant that's to be lindsayb.com. Um, that's it, guys. Thank you so much. You can actually just. Yep. Yeah. Mm. Little shout out. I'm Lindsay B. Lindsay B. We're going to follow her. All right, guys. Thank you so much. Thank you, Wes, for being thank on you. here. I really appreciate it. That's it. Peace.